Okay, so what is the lattice energy for MgCl2? And this is the step that shows the lattice energy. And we're given sublimation, ionization, dissociation, electron affinity, and the overall reaction, which is delta H formation. So first we're going to write the overall reaction, magnesium plus chlorine. I'm spreading it out here. So we have plenty, plenty of room. Gives us MgCl2 in the solid state. Okay, so they um, form the solid state. So our first step is going to be having magnesium go from solid to gas. That's going to be our sublimation. So let's move this up here. And we'll write our first step, which is sublimation. So that is magnesium solid going to magnesium in the gas state. And it is given up at the top that that is 120 kilojoules per mole. Okay, now our second step. Now magnesium, as you remember, is um, an ion that has a plus two charge. So our second step is going to be the first ionization energy. We're only going to take away one electron with this, so that's going to be magnesium. Um, and this is in the gas phase, so we put gas here and gas here. And um, it's going to lose an electron and become Mg+. Plus. And it's given up at the top that this is a positive 756 kilojoules per mole of magnesium. And we're dealing with one mole here. So uh, there's our one electron. And then we're going to do that step again. So step three. Let's bring it out here so it will line up. It's going to give us magnesium with a plus two charge plus another electron. This will be step three. That's going to be our second ionization energy. That's going to be magnesium with a plus charge in the gas phase. Produces magnesium with a two plus charge plus one electron. And that's given, um, that's going to be even higher energy, 1490 kilojoules per mole of magnesium. So, so far, everything we're looking at here is endothermic. But we're ready for magnesium to react. So chlorine is going to be next. We'll call this step four. Chlorine has to be broken apart into two chlorines. And this is in the gas phase. What we're going to end up calling this is bond dissociation. And um, that's going to be um, chlorine gas going to two chlorine atoms in the gas phase, not aqueous gas. And this energy is given as positive 248 kilojoules. All right, and now we're going to um, need to add two electrons to the uh, chlorine. And what that will do is that will give us the two chloride that we need to react with magnesium to form magnesium chloride. Okay, but notice we have two, so um, and we need to because it's MgCl2. This is going to be step five. Let's make the screen a little bit better here. Okay, so step five is going to be uh, first 
electron affinity. There's only going to be one. Even though we're adding two electrons, we're adding it to two moles. It's just going to be first electron affinity. That's going to be two chlorine atoms in the gas phase plus two moles of electrons gives us two moles of chloride ions. Okay, and it says up at the top that the energy for this is negative 368. And that's kilojoules per mole, but we have two moles of chlorine. So this is going to be times two because of that right there. Okay, or right, let's connect that with the, the chlorine. There we go. So that's going to be twice 368. And then our last step is right here. That's hooking the whole thing together. That's the lattice energy. And that is what we are asked to calculate. So I'm going to write it out as magnesium 2 plus plus 2 chlorides produces MgCl2. You'll notice that's the equation that we had at the top. Let's refer to that right here. That's our equation. And we're looking for that energy associated with just that sixth step. When we add all of this together, we're going to get We'll call this 7, even though it's the total. We'll call this formation. So this is going to be our energy or enthalpy of formation. That's going to be Mg. That's going to be plus Cl2. Gives us MgCl2. And that's the overall reaction. And that is given as negative 698 kilojoules per mole of magnesium chloride. Okay, so what we're looking for is what is the lattice energy? That's what we need to calculate. So here we are in our last step. We're going to rearrange this equation. We'll call this the change in enthalpy of lattice energy and that's going to equal minus 698 that's our total minus and now we're just going to go down the line we're going to subtract 120 kilojoules minus 756 kilojoules takes care of that minus 1,490 kilojoules. That's our second ionization energy. Okay, and then we're going to subtract the 248 kilojoules. That's our bond association. And then we're going to subtract negative 368 times 2 so that's minus 736 kilojoules. So we've multiplied that by 2. And that's what this is right here. And when we complete all of this, we get a lattice energy that is minus 2,576 kilojoules per mole of magnesium chloride. Okay, so there's three steps to show. We want to show the Bornhaber cycle. Then we want to show each step laid out here. And then we want to show the final calculation. And um, what we were calculating here was the lattice energy. Everything else was given. Pay attention to what gets multiplied by 2. And that's it.